Hey guys, alright, it is week four in Gut to Cut. Sorry, it's 4.40 in the morning, so, um, it's already been a month, guys. This is, time really flies. It's really interesting how quickly it's been going. Um, so, yeah, let's get right into it. Sorry about my hair. I just got out of the shower and... I normally wake up at about like 4.45, 4.50 to 5, uh, and then I take my shower and everything, but when I have to do these videos, I normally get up at about 4.15, 4.30, so, anyways, that's why I'm not looking my, uh, my best yet, anyways, um, so, I weighed in this morning, and I am at 484 pounds. So, for all of you that remember, that is on one pound. Um, now, one pound isn't the greatest, but it's still a pound. But, there's a side catch to it. Um, remember how I said that I got a gym membership? And so I've been at the gym kicking my, you know, butt, and I've been working really hard. And so, I know that my body fat percentage has gone down a lot and um, that it, a lot of my weight has been counterbalanced by muscle because I weighed my waist today and, or not weighed my waist, uh, measured it and it's down to 38 inches so that's another 3 inches so um, for 2 weeks so even though it only says one pound on the scale, I know that a lot of it has just been muscle now. So, I'm, I'm pretty stoked. One pound on the scale is a lot more than what it sounds like. So, all of you guys that are only, that may be getting a little bit, you know, less on the number wise, you may want to pick up, like, just one of these, I don't know, like, what are they? They're like a, a cloth uh, measuring tape or something. You know, just the kind of stuff that they would use to uh, measure your clothes or something like that. And it's working fine for me. It was like a bucket target or something. So, yeah, I use it every week. My arms are still 13 inches, but um, I their cycle hasn't come through yet again. So, I, I've only worked them once. So, but... I'm, I'm stoked. My, my uh, midsection is definitely feeling great, and it's definitely smaller. I can, my pants are fitting better. Um, I can fit, I can fit into, not comfortably, but I can fit into some of the older pants that I had that were 36 inches. Um, and it, it's, it's almost flat. It's almost, it's not like, ab flat, but, I mean, it's like, even with my chest on it, so, anyways, I'll go ahead and show you, that's, that's that, see, see, it's, it's like, almost even, so, and the, that's my arms, that's my back, that's my other arm, uh, Those are my legs. And calves. I hope this shows up. Eh. It's too early in the morning. I don't feel like working on trying to show you my calves. Calves are calves. To be honest, unless you guys' calves are really protruding, I really don't see much. So, um, that'd be cool. That'd be cool to go to work like that. Yeah, right. Um, so, anyways, interesting thing about my calves, though, is the, even though, um, they aren't pro you know, like, extremely muscular or anything, I think that they are, 
just there it's underneath the fat um, because I went to go do my calf exercises this week two three days ago and there's a if any of you guys go to a gym you'll know what I'm talking about there's a calf machine that has two shoulder pads right here and then there's a bar that you stand up on that's above the ground and then you just basically use your shoulders and calves to push up and on that machine I was able to do 12 reps of 300 pounds that was insane and actually you can barely see them but like right there and right there are like red marks that that machine left they were all over my shoulder a couple days ago but they, they healed because I guess my shoulders aren't strong enough to do it but, but my calves are so and that was 12 reps so that means that I could do more um, the machine only goes up to 420 so I'm I'll keep on pushing so but yeah um, my legs are feeling stronger um, my I kind of gauge a lot of them by how close I can get my fingers around them, and it's getting like almost there. It's about it's about that much off from being able uh, that much off from being able to touch. When I can guarantee it used to be like that much before all of this, so they're definitely getting scrawnier, which I'm happy about. Yeah, it's about the same on the other leg. Um. I don't know, just all those small things that you personally do to check to see if you're, uh, you know, if you're actually succeeding, and, you know, even though I only have one pound, I, I succeeded this week, I, I did really good, so, um, my diet's been really interesting, not as in a sense where I've been not eating the healthiest stuff, but as in, my diet was too strict, not on calories, in the beginning of the week, I was losing a pound a week because I was not, my caloric intake was just not enough. And it scared me. I, I, uh, so I, strangely enough, I had to find a way to up the calories in my day. So, I just kind of added a granola bar here, or something along those lines, just trying to sneak in another hundred calories or so, so. But, um, Another healthy food, if you guys like it, I mean, I'm not sure if it's healthy, healthy. I mean, I think it is, but pickles are only 10 calories each. I like pickles, so uh, that was good to me. I bring one with, lunch, with me with, for lunch every day, so. Anyways, that's pretty much how I'm doing. Um, sorry I'm not energetic. Yesterday I was pumped, but... I had to wait till the morning to weigh myself and everything, but, you know, I'm pumped. I mean, it, I, I'm down to 38-inch waist. I'm wearing 36-inch pants. I'm, out, I'm at the last notch of my belt. I mean, th it's going great. I mean, I, I it's it really is. It's going awesome, and, um, you know, I, I, I have my target goal of 170, and... You know, I, I really can't wait to hit that. Because I'm only going to keep on going. So, alright. Well, um, I hope Bangston has fun on his trip. And I will talk to you all later. And I can't wait to see all your videos. Alright, bye.